crafty friends. My name is Kimberly Smith and I'm the Papered Chef. Today I launched a brand new course in my card making workshop series. In this course, you're going to learn how to create easel fold cards featuring nature's prints. We're gonna be using this stamp set for the sentiments and an entire suite of products by Stampin' Up. That suite is called the Sun Print Suite. The Sun Print Suite consists of designer series paper, and Nature's Prints dies. I'll also be showing you how to step up these cards by using an embossing folder as well. Here's what your finished card will look like. You grab one here that has the sentiment on the bottom. And I'm gonna be sharing with you all kinds of tips and tricks that you're going to need for any kind of card making that you're doing. Whether you're sharing cards with your friends and family, selling cards at craft fairs, or in, the, in this case, for this particular project that I'm sharing with you in this workshop, I'm creating these for swaps that I'm sharing with fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrators when I go to an on-stage event in Jacksonville, Florida. That's why I made so many of these. And I shared with you many techniques for mass production, mass production, and mass producing cards. Now I would like to tell you what you're gonna be learning in this course. The first thing I teach you is how to get cardstock that will coordinate with the paper and the sweet you'll be using and how to cut and score the cardstock so that you can create the easel fold card base. We, we use several different colors of cardstock and I have a full workbook for you which goes over all the supplies you're gonna need and all the measurements. The next thing I teach you how to do is layer the cards. So in, in that section, we're gonna talk about, in, through a couple different videos, how to cut your card stock and how to cut your designer series paper to create layers for both the top and the bottom section of your easel fold card. The next thing we cover is how to embellish your card. And in that section, there are several videos about how to use adhesive sheets and create die cuts, how to stamp, how to ink around your stamps for more dimension, and how to assemble the cards. Next, I show you ways to make your cards stand up. There's at least five techniques for getting the easel fold cards to stand up as they are here. And I'm gonna be teaching you all of those techniques, and I'm sure there's probably more as well. And then I'm gonna show you how to step up your cards to another level using some other products that coordinate with the suite, such as an embossing folder. Then I'm gonna show you how I package and sell my cards if I were to sell them, and how I package them and share them with others using a supply list, or if I were giving them to family and friends, how I would package and mail these cards. Finally, I'm gonna show you all the finished cards that I created for this project for my swaps. So you're gonna get a lot of insights and tips and tricks on how to create cards both more efficiently, faster, and just have a lot of fun along the way doing it. So I hope you will take this course with me and there are a couple different options and there are gonna be links beneath this video in the description. You can take this course on Udemy, which many of you are probably already familiar with because I have 10 scan and cut courses on Udemy right now. You can take this course and that, that would be an individual standalone course. And I have this course on other platforms as well. There'll be links in the description because maybe you are familiar with a different platform and want to take it with another platform that you're already a member of. Another way to take this course is through a Skillshare site, which is a membership site. It has thousands of courses, not just mine, but thousands of courses. Many of them are in the area of lifestyle, art, crafts, design. And so you wouldn't be just taking courses from me if you signed up in Skillshare. You'd be taking courses from many different designers. And if you want to check out that option, that's also in the description of this video. Either way, I hope you enroll in my course and I will see you in my card making workshop where you will learn to create easel fold cards with ease. That's all for now. This is the Papered Chef.